Hey guys, today we're filming a video in collaboration with Daily Motor and his 2021 Tesla Model Y. It just hit 6,000 miles, and the only maintenance that needs to be done right now is a tire rotation. So we're going to be doing that with the help of the Quick Jack. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Now, this being the standard range car, we do not have directional tires. These Continental Pro Contacts are not directional. They're not staggered, they're 255, 45 R19s all the way around. So if I'm not mistaken, and Chris, you can correct me if I am, we're gonna go cross back with the fronts and straight forward with the rears. That's, yeah, that's that how you do it. Right. Yeah, rear wheel drive car rotation. Yeah. A quick overview for the quick jack. 7,000 pounds this thing can lift, and as you see, it's mobile. So we're gonna get it set up right here in our garage. He usually has it put away nicely in the side of the garage. It fits away. Super easy, and for most vehicles, you can just lift it right up. So we're going to slide it under the Tesla, find the proper jack points using the manual, and get these aero cover wheel or aero wheel covers off, which should. I've actually never taken them off, but there's a nice little wheel on there. There is. Let's just go right at it so you can all see here live. This is the very first attempt. You should just kind of put your hands in there, pull them, and there you go. Track day ready with lots of brake cooling. Look at those brake rotors, those are nice. Decent calipers too. Look how much dust, brake dust there is after 6,000 miles. Are you saying it's a lot or a little? Not much. No, no there really isn't. Yeah. I mean it's it's there, but you gotta remember this hasn't been washed at all. And it's also like road grime too. Right, exactly, and we have had this on a track. So it wasn't like a track day, but we have used the brakes. I mean if you were just a very casual Tesla driver, you'd probably have barely used the brakes at all at this point. We're gonna get the quick jack loaded up under there and We'll see how this goes. Should be an easy process. Knock on wood. Five hours later. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you have a software owner's manual here. So you can go down, click owner's manual, and I just typed in lifting, and then you've got the jacking and lifting portion under maintenance. Makes sense. And it kind of tells you what to know about lifting the car. It's fairly straightforward, and you can actually zoom in, which is neat, right here on this image and it shows you there will be four jack points kind of right where you expect them to be but it says don't lift on the side rails and don't lift on the center where the battery is so pretty straightforward let's hop under there and see what we can see crawling under the car even though this is a quote-unquote suv it certainly doesn't feel very high but that appears to be the lift point right there the jack points are very obvious under the model y Pretty much a whole sea of plastic and then metal circles. So pretty easy to see where they're at. No pinch weld or anything. Yeah, the quick jack is pretty versatile with its mounts. We have the frame extenders on here. Yep. Which were just barely necessary for the Model Y. Would you like to do the honors? Yeah, let's do it. So plugged in. First time lifting a car with the quick jack. Wow. A momentous occasion. Okay. Do you have to go up to a certain height? Yeah, you want to go to the first lock point. So oh, I see. I think that's how much we should lift the Model Y in a year. And then you lower it. Just like any standard lift. Now it's yeah. now you can see it's locked physically here, not hydraulically. It's actually a physical lock point. And then I am assuming when you go to take it down, we'll lift it up. Unlatch that. Unlatch and okay. So there's the model Y lifted up. 21 millimeter sockets for the lug nuts. We've loosened four of them. There will be a fifth one to get off real quick and then we'll pop off the wheels. We noted 6,000 miles, decent bit of brake dust all over the wheel, but mind you. This whole time we've owned the car through winter and everything, we have not taken the aero covers off to clean off any brake dust. And we have had this out on track. One uh, top tip with yeah. the jack is your first use with the rubber chocks, clean all the oil off of them. Yeah, look at this. Uh, and uh, we just kind of br you know, brush them with some sandpaper, got a nice clean Where, where are some of the other ones? Surface. The other ones are down here. Yeah, so, so we just use some brake sure cleaner and we, and we clean this off. You can feel quite a bit of sort of rubber material, rubber ooze gunk from, from the production process. And then we just rub some sandpaper on there to create a grippier surface. So let's get these wheels off. 
throw in a quick tire depth gauge here on the tire, on the rear, right rear. We're looking at about seven in the middle of each of these two and about six on the sides. Most of your fronts have, seem to have visually a lot more tread on the rears. Really? Well, yeah. I mean, we have been hard on the rear, so it's a good thing we can rotate these. Overall, I've been happy with these Continental Pro Contacts. Oh yeah, Chris, I see what you mean even just looking at them. On the outside, we're about eight, eight millimeters, as opposed to six, just under eight. And also about eight in the center, so. That's what rotating your tires does, is it allows those rears that get more wear from when we're blasting 5.3 seconds zero to 60 off of all the stoplights. We allow the fronts that have not gotten wore out as much to go back to the rears and balance out that wear a little bit. Just another advantage of the standard range car having a square, non-directional uh, setup. Because I know a lot of the, I think the long range cars get, it's not staggered, but I think they're directional tires. So okay. you can't rotate them all around. And the performance model staggered. So you can't rotate anything. Now the reason the quick jack is so useful for something like this, as you can see, you need to, the best way to do it is to have all four tires off the car at once. If you're using jack stands, you have to kind of lift in a weird way because the Tesla's got very specific jack points. So you'd have to like jack one side of the car up with a, with a, a floor jack and then put a, a, a jack stand on the other side if you could lift all of one side at once, it'd, it'd be difficult, put it that way. So using the quick jack allows everything to just lift nice and easy and do the swap. We got them all rotated and ready to drop it back down. That part was easy. We actually lift up first and then how does this work, Chris? Okay, now that one's, can you do the other side? Yes, go ahead. All right, so there's kind of a double catch mechanism. And there we are. It's a satisfying sound as it drops to the ground. All right, that's it, quick jack. Nice, so we're gonna yank the quick jack out, pull the car out, torque the lug nuts to their proper torque spec, and then give this thing a little wash with the aero covers off. There you are, 6,000 mile tire rotation on the Model Y. Like I said earlier, another advantage to the standard range car is we were able to do a four directional rear wheel drive change. And if you had the quick jack all set up, if this were something that you had in your garage or obviously just a four post lift, something like that, or two post lift, this would be a very straightforward process. Just if you're doing it yourself, make sure you get your lug nuts torqued properly and follow all the lifting techniques. Do it right, do it safe. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more on the Model Y, we've got a whole playlist. Click down in the description to get to that. And we'll see you on the next one.